Alright, so now uh, I need to go ahead and install the electronic box and the fuel tank so we have that there. But I also need to place these three screws here. Uh, so in the previous video I forgot to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that first. So this is why you don't work on RC cars at 4 a.m. It, it's not 4 a.m. You know, some people will say it's 4 a.m. somewhere. No, no, it's not. It would only be 4 a.m. somewhere at the hour, and it's not the hour. It's already past the hour. Similar to when people say it's 5 o'clock somewhere. No, no, it's not. If you think it's 5 o'clock somewhere, you don't understand time. Right? It's, it's only 5 o'clock somewhere if it's on the hour. Right? If it's 6 o'clock here, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. But if it's 6.01 here, it's not 5 o'clock somewhere, it's 5.01. Uh, let's see. All right. Can't actually see. I'm actually just work going by feel on that one. There we go. It worked. Here we go. That being said, all right, these wires can go over here. And this box, so this is the cover that goes in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here and then I can just slide it through. Or you can just place this on top like this and then just place this over uh, like this as well. It's, it's up to you. Uh, all right, so we have this here. And uh, once it's here, the short screw goes here, and then we have another short screw over here. This is a screw I can't find. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, and then uh, we have the other screw that goes in here. So those are the things to go ahead and work with. I'm gonna go ahead and place this one here. It's a 2.5 millimeter driver. go and then that was not lined up there we go all right now it's lined up Also wondering why such a long screw. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Which is a possibility. Ah, yes, I remember now. I am doing something wrong. The nerf bar. Alright, forget about the nerf bar nerf bar. And sometimes that will happen when you're assembling and disassembling, especially uh, once you're a little tired. Uh, so the Nerf bar, just uh, remember this is going to slide in and this other part's going to clip in. So if you look at it this way, uh, this is going to go in here, this is going to go over here. So it'll go this way and it will drop in here. And then once I put this cover here on the bottom, right in there, then this can go in and lock everything in place. All right, here we go. And this is why the long screw. And that is it. So I'll have to find a replacement for that uh, later. Not at this time. Now the fuel tank just sits right in here. 
this goes facing this way. Just need to line these up and then press this in. And I need to make sure those grommets go in as well. Right, this one is ready, so I can go ahead and install the clip in here. And those, those rubber grommets are just for vibration. Uh, so if you lose them, you can run the truck with them. The only problem is the vibration is going to vibrate the fuel, and uh, then you're going to have a bunch of air in your fuel, because the fuel will just be vibrating all the time. So that's the reason why you want those in there. It just doesn't allow the fuel to vibrate so much. Question is, ah, there it is. Use the driver to push this down the other side so I can get the clip through. That was a challenge. All right, so fuel tank is installed now. Now the top, this is where the tune pipe goes. Uh, so this fuel line, I can just go ahead and uh, clip here to the roll bar. And now this line was cut. Uh, usually you have more line, it'll, it would do a second loop. I would just kind of loop around, clip on again. Uh, but this is good enough. So here we go. So this will go into the carburetor. Uh, and then to set this, I will move over here. All right, perfect. Uh, and that is it. So now I have the electronic box and the fuel tank installed. All I need to do is just clip this wire in. Uh, and that is it. So at this point, we just need the front end and the transmission. Transmission will go in first. Even though I took out the transmission before the front end, uh, order doesn't matter. And sometimes it's easier to install the transmission first than it is to install the front end, just because of the two little shafts. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,